Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson, and today is Thursday, March 7th, 2024. Today I'm talking about hunger in America. But first, did you know that over 44 million Americans face hunger each and every day, including one in five children? Did you know that senior citizens, recent combat veterans, and growing numbers of college students are some of the newer faces of hunger? Did you know that the charitable food system in the United States, folks, provides more than 4 billion meals to over 46 million people each year. So why is there so much hunger in America today? Well, some say it's the growing cost of food. One out of eight of, of eight American adults is struggling to afford enough food, according to October uh, 23 data from the Census Bureau's Household Pulse Survey. So how much do groceries cost anyway? Well, the average cost of basic groceries in America last year was $415.53 a month per person. But of course, the exact amount can vary according to where you live and how much you eat. So the five U.S. cities with the highest monthly food costs last year were Honolulu, New York City, Wilmington, Delaware, Seattle, and Boston, Massachusetts. Now, being hungry, folks, is not benign. Hunger can change how a child's brain and their bodies grow and affect their thinking, their learning, and their behavior. So how do we end hunger in America? Well, it depends on who you talk to because there's so many different points of view on this. So, for example, Hunger Free America says we cannot end U.S. hunger without significantly reducing poverty, and we can't significantly reduce poverty without first raising wages, reducing inflation, boosting economic opportunity, and bolstering the American middle class. Hmm, can't do that overnight. So clearly long-term strategies and programs are needed. Another thing we can do is our own advocacy. We can contact our elected officials and be an advocate for adequate funding of the federal SNAP program, that's food stamps, WIC, that's the Women, Infants, and Children's Food Program, and school lunch programs for children. Another uh, website, inhunger.org, states that we all can do something about hunger and doing something becomes with first being informed. Its website offers a 10-question quiz on hunger, and I think that's a great starting point. Another strategy is to reduce food waste. Americans, we waste a lot of food. According to the After the Harvest website, every year, folks, we throw away nearly 100 billion pounds of food, which is enough to feed each hungry family, senior citizens, and child in the United States. So how do we reduce food waste? As individuals, we can avoid buying too much. You know, buy that fresh produce in smaller quantities. We can think twice before throwing food away. We can freeze that extra for soups and stews. We can always make a shopping list. We can organize our food so that we use the food that is going to expire first. We can store our food correctly. For example, you store potatoes and onions away from each other. We keep the bananas out of the fruit bowl, keep them by themselves. We eat our leftovers. We can make a weekly menu and we can give away or donate extra food that we don't need. So those are just a few thoughts. So what are your thoughts about hunger in America? How do you think that you can reduce food waste? And what can we all do to help this problem? Now, for the last couple of videos, I've been talking about hunger-related issues, food insecurity, global uh, starvation in crisis areas of the country, and uh, hunger, global hunger, and now hunger in America. It's a topic that doesn't get a lot of airtime, but it is something that's very important as a public health issue and as a uh, health and well-being topic. So that's my message today. As always, I hope you're well and be safe.